a limited war, a war which would have lasted a few weeks, like what we saw in Crimea in 2014, would have sent that message across. Now, as, it, as we approach the 50th day, and we're getting increasingly these reports of you know, mass crimes in Bucha and at the railway station a few days ago, uh, where does that leave Putin, just in terms of the objective that he set out to achieve and where he's placed now? Is he worse off today than he was a few days ago? Well, it's very hard to say because this war has not played itself out yet. There's no question that he was pursuing what I would call a limited aim strategy. He wanted to conquer some territory in uh, Ukraine, mainly in the east, and he was interested in either regime change or getting the existing regime to change its policy with regard to joining NATO or joining the West. Uh, there's no question that the Russian military forces have run into a buzzsaw with the Ukrainians. And this is because NATO, and especially the United States, has been supporting Ukraine all along and trying to turn Ukraine into a de facto member of NATO. That's why Ukraine has performed so well on the battlefield. So the Russians have had their hands full, but the Russians are doubling down now. And where this all leads is very hard to say. And you just want to remember, the Russians view what's happening in Ukraine as an existential threat. And if the Russians lose in Ukraine, and at the same time, the West succeeds at strangling the Russian economy, there'll be very powerful pressures brought to bear on Putin to escalate the crisis, to possibly use nuclear weapons. Now, I want to be very clear. I'm not making the argument that that is likely. I'm just saying that is a real possibility. You want to remember, Putin views this set of events that's taking place in Ukraine as an existential threat. And when states face existential threats, the historical record is very clear here. They pursue risky policies. So I think we're in dangerous waters here because it's not clear the Russians are going to prevail.